What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. And I want to get my post fight Keith Thurman versus Luis Colazo. And I enjoyed the ESPN card, and it happened early enough, so I'm going to catch the Conor McGregor fight as well as Mauricio Herrera versus Hank Lundy on HBO. So I'm looking forward to that, and I like that about PBC that it starts early. Another thing I like about PBC, um, as far as the first ever ESPN PBC card, not Friday Night Fights or whatnot. I liked it. I, I thought it was enjoyable. A couple things I didn't like, the, the, the clock counter looked really weird and, and plain. They didn't have a bell. Um, I did like their, they had a backstory with Keith Thurman and Ben Getty, and it was almost cinematic, if you if you will, and it was like a tearjerker. I was like, what what is this? Why, like, why do I feel sad? Because Keith Thurman started crying on that, and um, what Al Heyman is doing, I'm, I'm really digging it. What he's doing is he's trying to bring these fighters back into the public eye, make them household names, and get to know them, not just as war machines or fighters or these brute machines or like cattle, but more of the human side as well. That's why he's doing the corner to the corner. Um, they had like a, the Ben Getty segment, and it was good to see that. As far as the actual fight, now I didn't get around to doing a prediction, but two days ago, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me at Boxing Ego, I said this. A lot of people were saying, oh, Keith Thurman KO round one, Keith Thurman KO round three. And I didn't, I did, like I said, I didn't make a prediction. But if you read my passage, which is still up, and I'll read, or I'll, you can look at it on screen as I'm talking, I said a lot of people are underrating what Colazzo did based on other people. And far too many times in boxing, people do that. You know what I mean? They look at, oh, Amir Khan did this. Yeah, but Amir Khan's also fast as fuck. So whatever he did, is what he did they have different reaches different heights different variables different timing different cards you know what i mean he was on a mayweather undercard etc right so there's a lot of different variables and you can't compare and i told you guys Colazo is a game veteran now as far as the actual fight i like what i seen from keith thurman for the most part and on my videos i give you the good the bad the ugly so the good keith thurman was picking his shots it looks like he's improved his accuracy, and I had him really winning every round except for round five, which leads me to the bad. That is the bad. In round five, he got dealt a vicious liver shot, a body shot, and it folded him, and it looked really bad, like he was on the verge of getting knocked down or possibly stopped by Luis Colazo. Now, the bad side with that is you... I did a video on it. You talked all this shit about I'm better than Pacquiao and Bradley. You're calling out Mayweather. I like that, but... You don't want to be in against a guy like Colazzo, who people said this was a mismatch. Even though I said that you guys do too much with the mismatches and not everything's a mismatch because there's different variables like Khan having freakish speed and, and stuff like that. But the general public, from what I've seen, consider this a mismatch. So the fact that you look brutally hurt like in that round, um, not necessarily a good look for making a case. So Amir Khan, he struggled with Chris Algieri. I wouldn't say Keith Thurman struggled because, again, I had him winning every single round. But that fifth round, how he got hurt, I don't know if he's ready for Floyd and the Pacquiao's and stuff like that, like he wants to be or like he claims he is. Um, I think he could give these guys a tough challenge, but that particular round didn't show it. Colazzo landed a great paralyzing body shot. So when I was talking about Earl Spence versus Keith Thurman, a lot of people agreed, some people disagreed. But Earl Spence Jr., an Olympian, and he's younger. Colossus was like 34. Spence is 24 probably. And Earl Spence is a vicious body shot. So to me, it just brings more precedence to what I was saying. That is not that bad of a fight. You know what I mean? Especially if you were even getting caught. Because Amir Khan, actually I think Amir Khan did get hurt. But it didn't look as bad as when Keith Thurman got hurt. So that's, that's the only bit of mixed bag. I had it pretty much a shutout. But how bad he got hurt in that situation... I know it's going to be a lot of spotlight and a lot of people just really questioning, like, hmm, he doesn't like it to the body and that kind of stuff. So there's other great fights for him. Amir Khan, uh, Marcos Maidana, Earl Spence. These are all good fights. Now, if you get a fight like Khan or Kell Brook or something like that, then obviously I wouldn't say fight Spence over them because they make you more money. So I enjoyed it. I think Colazzo, um the ending was weird, too. He, he kind of worded it weird, so they stopped the fight in round eight. But I will say this in Keith Thurman's defense is Colazzo didn't pounce on him when he had him badly hurt in the fifth round. And he let two other rounds or whatever go by. So, um, I mean, he was he was clearly losing the fight. So And he shouldn't have said that, oh, 
they said, oh, do you want it to continue? And he, you want us to stop it? And he's like, oh, that's up to y'all. I can't see. I mean, you can't say uncertain things like that unless you, you possibly want to get it. So he might have been just getting banged up and didn't really have the fire anymore. So he he made that comment, and then they made the decision to stop it. So overall, a pretty good performance by Keith Thurman when he did do stuff right. But the biggest black cloud is that struggle in round five. And the last, I guess, the critique on Keith Thurman that I noticed, sometimes he seems a little bit too gung-ho. Like he's so anxious for the chaos for life. He seems like jittery, you know what I mean? Mike Tyson wanted to knock your block off and knock your head off too, but I felt Mike Tyson was like just merciless and more composed about it, and he would find a way to get to you. When I see Keith Thurman versus Guerrero or Keith Thurman versus Colazzo, he just looks antsy in that first round to prove his point. Like he is, And that's not good when you step up in class versus like Pacquiao's and, and Mayweather's. You don't want to be that desperate because that's when you can make mistakes, and you can't make mistakes against Mayweather, Pacquiao, or elite level fighters. That And I think some of his movements look pretty fly and look slick and um, make sense. But I think he burns a lot of energy and he moves a little bit too much, more than he needs. It's like he's like trying to showcase and show off the fact that he can move and he can be elusive. So I think he could scale that back a bit. Like I, I, Sometimes, like I said, I think he's wasting unnecessary energy, especially since Colazzo didn't have a jab and was losing mostly all the rounds. He was cut. He was trying to cut off the ring, but he wasn't really doing much damage other than in round five. And I think um, in certain spots... Thurman should have, instead of being like this boxer puncher slash mover, he should have tried to bring it forward to Colazzo, especially since in those rounds, at least rounds one through four, Colazzo didn't really have nothing for Keith Thurman. So the unnecessary movement, I, I really don't understand why he was moving quite as much. So sometimes you, you need to evade shots and, and I, I get the elusive things, but I think he moves a little bit too much. But all in all, I enjoyed it. I'm about to watch these other fights. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off.